Hey folks, Coach Simmons here. And on vacation. So I don't got the music playing, I don't got the background screen, but I had to chime in on this real quick. Half the swack lost their damn mind. My channel has always been about not settling, right? Think outside the box, right? Do something better for yourself, your community, right? We're gonna start off with Texas Southern University. Why do you not have a coach right now? Can you explain to me why you don't have a coach? I'm waiting, I'm just waiting to hear it because you knew you were firing the previous coach in October. Hell, I would say you knew you were flying that man back when season first started. You just now decided to check out Andre Johnson? <laughs> just now decided to check out Andre Johnson? Really? Come on, man. Coach McNair was chilling over there in Alcorn. I know G talking about his close retirement. Okay, great. But... He was chilling in Alcorn, man. Wasn't bothering nobody. And you said you want to hire him for Texas Southern, which is a better location to recruit. And you just screwed the pooch on it. Now, you got Mickey Joseph over there grambling. You're trying to decide between Ed Reed, who's still trying to get a head coaching job. Um... Coach McNair and Andre Johnson. Really? Signing day has already started, man. A lot of your recruits who are going to go to your school have flipped already. Because they can't wait for you to decide on who's going to be the coach. And then we come down to FAMU. Coach Willie Simmons. I always say Willie gone Willie, right? Well, Willie, quick question. I don't know. I'm not trying to count your pockets, man. I ain't, I ain't doing that. What I'm going to say is this. The amount of money to leave being a head coach at a, what we I call it? The number one HBCU, right? The black national champion to be a running backs coach is disrespectful. And I'm going to bring up two schools. Everybody's saying, well, you know, going from the FCS to the FBS, you got to pay your dues. True. North Dakota State. The current coach is leaving to go be a linebacker coach at USC. Okay. The previous two coaches that left, we head coaches at Wyoming and North Dakota State and uh, Kansas State. Head coaches one of the Power Five schools with 134, 35 FBS schools. Only 15 black head coaches. Only three in the South. You have Marshall, Virginia, Middle Tennessee State. Those are the three in the South. If you're trying to get on the, on that path of being a head coach on the FBS level, being a running backs coach for Duke is not going to get you up there. There's only three black head coaches in the South. Let you understand that real quick. Three black head coaches on the FBS level. The only way to get more black head coaches on the FBS level is to bring HBCUs to the FBS level. But I'm tired of saying that because I get beat down all the time for bringing that up. But think about this very quickly. It's called out of sight, out of mind. If you are OC, I completely understand it. Out of sight, out of mind. You're not going to be running backs coach at Alabama, 
Georgia, Tennessee, Auburn, hell, Florida State, North Carolina, going to Duke. Duke. They're basically saying you're good enough to recruit the kids. You're not good enough to coach the kids. Can you name me one running back coach from Duke? Name me one running back from Duke. Same thing happened with we was Jerry Mack, running back coach at Tennessee. There was another coach, coach from Norfolk State, decided to go coach tight ends at East Carolina. When all these other coaches' jobs come up, they will pull a FCS coach to be a coordinator, if not a head coach. I'm not, saying, I'm not counting your money, man. I'm not counting your wallets. I'm not doing that. What I'm saying, Willie, you're too good of a coach to settle to be a running backs coach for Duke. OC, possibly. I see you more of an OC at Clemson. I see you more of an OC at South Carolina. Hell, if you want to play the numbers game, don't go up there. Let's count the teams in Florida right now. Florida State, Miami Hurricanes, uh, Florida Gators, that's three. UCF, that's four. USF, that's five. FIU, that's what, six. FAU, that's seven. FAMU's eight. If you can climb up to a top five team in Florida, that will be the difference we make. Tell them boys to flip their Miami game to an FIU game. Same city. Flip that game to a FAU game. Same city. Your team is on the verge of doing something that no other team has done. Fam, you the only HBCU with the balls to try to go to FBS. And you have the team ready on paper to possibly be ranked right behind Florida State, Miami, Florida, UCF. Being the fifth best team in the state of Florida is still way better than being a running back coach at Duke. Keep that in your mind. Duke University. Let's coach K. Once you coach basketball, there's nobody checking for any coach at Duke University. The only reason why the head coach went to a and he was there before. a and wanted a cheap coach to take over. But what do I know, right? It's Coach Simmons on vacation, Port Aransas. Take it easy, man. Swag, step up.